Let's talk about the stable marriage problem. Here's the idea. You have the same number of guys and girls all lined up in a row. Each guy has an internal ranking of the girls in front of him, and the girls have an internal ranking of the guys. There is some configuration of these individuals such that when everyone is paired up, there is no pair that likes each other more than their current partners. If a girl gets her second choice for a guy, that's fine, so long as her first choice doesn't like her more than his current partner. In this case, all marriages will be called stable, hence the name, the stable marriage problem. Now, in real life, finding suitable partners is an uphill battle of trial and error filled with deep emotional turmoil, regrets, and awkward love triangles. Or, so I'm told, from manga. I kinda gave up on the whole thing after high school when I realized I had no personality. Also, it's hard to simulate emotion, so we're going to simplify the problem and assume the guys will just propose outright to whichever girl they find the most attractive, and the girl will accept whichever proposal comes from the guy they find most attractive. The algorithm to solve this problem is relatively straightforward. The guys propose and the girls accept their best offer. The rejected guys then propose again and the girls again accept the best offer. The cycle of hope and rejection continues until there are no guys or girls not in a relationship. This is called the Gale Shapley algorithm and is unfortunately better for the guys than the girls. I thought about switching the gender roles here, but in the end the whole male-female dynamic is just a neat story to help people remember it better. In actuality, the Gale Shapley algorithm is used in a number of different places. Like, for example, assigning medical students to their first hospital appointment, or assigning users to servers in a large distributed internet service. It's also very closely related to a bunch of other problems, like the stable roommate problem or the assignment problem. More info's up on the algorithm archive right now and is awaiting language-specific implementation. I'm quite interested to see what you guys do here because it's deceptively complex, so be sure to put comments in your code when necessary. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching and thanks to these people for helping with the algorithm archive so far. I guess the moral of this algorithm is that the only way you'll find a stable relationship is if you just go out and propose to the most attractive people you can find or something. <laughs> I don't know. So since this video was kind of relationshipy themed, I thought it would be a good idea to go through math-based pickup lines at the end of the video. The problem is, as you might imagine, there aren't too many good math-based pickup lines out there. But in first place, of all the pickup lines I went through, was this one. Baby, I just threw a picture of you on my TI-83, but you're so hot that my screen melted. <laughs> you know, maybe math-based pickup lines don't exist for a reason. Anyway, leave your favorite math-based pickup lines in the comment section below, and maybe I'll read out my favorite ones later. And I think that's it. Bye.